salute this amazing black woman, poetically named Mary, rose up among us from the strife and struggle of the finger-popping black working class, enduring the sacrifice of the loss of her only son, weaving resolve in all those punctured hearts who came behind her. And although, although our faces are here now, one huge sea of grief, although our hearts wince with being pierced by a sudden departure from our mediocre midst, although we know not for sure if we can ever emerge with a blood-soaked strength in the face of the historical challenge of now, just as she did right before us, our ancestors known and unknown, before the one true God giving breath to her son's spilt blood, giving breath to other blood spilt by police terror and oppression, giving breath to our resistance to this family sharing evil, bearing the colors of justice, gear up for protest as she would have us do as she did in so many battles over so many years. Cradling our memory of her straight back regal strength, under this sure but shaken sun, under this muscular, century mature witnessing tree, with our eyes stinging with rivers of anguish, we vow to honor her strength. We vow to stand against injustice we ever, wherever we find it. We vow to look inside of ourselves to find greater strength to continue because the struggle continues just as she looked inside of herself and found her own, then we vow. We vow to continue. We vow to carry on. To carry on. To carry on. I thought that we'd see forever forever's gone away. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Long live Mary Weaver. Long live Mary Weaver. Long live Mary Weaver. Long live Mary Weaver. Long live Mary Weaver.